TCM 1002. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. With our last movie, this week's Essential Breathless, we brought you the feature film directorial debut of Jean-Luc Godard, one of the founding fathers of the French New Wave movement in film. Well, for the next few hours, we're going to bring you movies which mark the feature film debuts of two of the biggest directors who came of age during the American filmmaking of the late 1960s and 70s, Steven Spielberg and Martin Scorsese. We're going to start with Spielberg. Our movie is The Sugarland Express, from Universal Pictures in 1974, Steven Spielberg's first feature, and made when he was only 28 years old. Now, he was working at the time for Universal Studios, directing made-for-TV movies for the company, and important ones with stars such as Joan Crawford and Sandy Dennis, also including the now classic Duel with Dennis Weaver. But what Spielberg desperately wanted to do was direct a feature film, and he was constantly on the lookout for a good story idea. He finally found one in a newspaper article but a young married couple in Texas on the run from the law. Well, he took that story, developed it, and with two other writers, Hal Barwood and Matthew Robbins, wrote a screenplay about a young Texas mother who helps her husband break out of jail so they can keep their child out of foster care. Well, the big bosses at Universal liked the idea, told Stephen he could direct the screenplay, but only if he could get a major star to play one of the leads. Meanwhile, Dick Zanuck and David Brown came on board as producers, and they suggested Stephen try to get Goldie Hawn to be in it. Well, perfect timing. Goldie, already an Academy Award winner at this point, was looking for a project where she could play somebody far different than the ditzy characters which had become her forte ever since she'd first made a name for herself in the TV series Laugh-In. Well, she read the script and right away said yes. Steven Spielberg then had his major star, and thus he was off and running, and he's been accumulating an amazing track record ever since. Here also with Ben Johnson and William Atherton from 1974, the first feature made by Steven Spielberg, The Sugarland Express.